Welcome to the 2000 Decade Gladiator Round Tournament. Today's matchup features Johnny O. Jackson versus Chris Dim. Here in the front relaxed position, and Chris Dim is doing quite a bit of battle against the larger man here in Johnny O. Jackson. Not enough for the win, though. Something wrong with Chris Dim's arms there. They appear too large up at the top, and then they swoop down very... Very unesthetic. Anyway, I don't like either of these two men the way they're holding their arms out straight. Never like that as a relaxed position. Look too relaxed to me. Anyway, Johnny picks up a small point here. Now let's have a look at the front double bicep. And I'll be the first to admit that I am quite surprised with who I am choosing in this front double bicep. I'm going with Chris Dim. Now, piece by piece... Yes, Johnny does beat Chris. You can see the cuts in those arms. Much better. Much better. But for some reason, I just do not like the flow of Johnny's front double bicep. His midsection seems to be blocky. Anyway, look at that V-taper on Chris Dim. That has to be worth something. Although I will say, I was thinking about disqualifying Chris here's biceps. Are that, is that Syntho? Let me know in the comment section below. That looks like Syntho. But anyway, I'm going with Chris based on the that I do not think that that is Syntho in his arms. Anyway, next pose. And Johnny O. Jackson is really showing Chris who is boss in this front lat spread. What a perfect pose for Johnny O. Jackson. Those legs look very undersized on Chris Dim. Perhaps it is the way he is displaying them. As far as the V-taper and the lats are concerned, it's a pretty tight little battle here. But as we all know, when everything's equal, bigger is better. Anyway, Johnny picks up a good, good point here. Let's have a look at the side chest. And what a pose for Johnny O'Jackson. Pitcher perfect. A near perfect pose, I should say. Aside from those calves, I think this pose for Johnny O. Jackson is hard to beat. Very hard to beat. And Chris Dim is not the one to do it. Although Chris Dim does have a fantastic set of calves in this shot. I'm more convinced now than ever that Chris has some sort of synthol in those arms. They look a little too swollen, if you ask me. The delts should be a little bit bigger in uh, diameter than those triceps like that. They're just bulging a little too much. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Johnny O. Jackson picks up a good point. Let's have a look at the next pose. And I guess if I didn't act on my suspicions that that is synthol in those arms, then I guess I'm not going to this time either. I actually do see a shape of a tricep there when compared to, say, Ernie Taylor's big, soft, bulbous, squishy squishes for triceps. These actually do have some shape to it. Hard to say, hard to say. Either way, that coupled with those calves, I think that's enough to warrant a victory here in the side tricep. Wow, very impressive, this Chris Dim. I know a lot of people criticize me for his victory over David Henry, but he's a little pocket rocket. He's a good little bodybuilder, has some dangerous poses. All right, let's have a look at the backs. And Chris Dim, like I said, he is a very impressive bodybuilder. Look at how low those lats go. And as far as his traps are concerned, wow, second to none. Unless that next person beside him is Johnny O. Jackson, which it is. Johnny O. Jackson's back is among the best of bodybuilding history. There's just no way Chris Dim can touch him. Although, like I said, kudos, Chris. Fantastic job on standing up to Johnny. But wow, look at those traps on Johnny O. What a big, thick back. You could get a, a ton of bacon off that back. Anyway, let's have a look at the next back shot. This rear double bicep of Johnny O. Jackson. It pleases me. It pleases me so. It really does. Johnny O. Jackson, that's five victories for this man, so this contest is over. We all know that I, I end these gladiator rounds a little bit early if they do not make it to the last pose. 
No sense of wasting any of your time. Let's have a look at the brackets. Ooh, it's looking good, ladies and gentlemen. It's filling out nicely. As we can see, Johnny O. Jackson advances on to the second round of action in this tournament. Of course, the next match in this decade features Branch Warren versus Quincy Taylor, I have to say. Branch Warren is one of the top seeds in this whole tournament. Anyway, this is uh, shaping up nicely, and I'm excited to see who makes it to the finals. I hope you enjoyed this one, and have a good day.